What's up folks, Dan here. Uh, we got another episode of Going Superhuman today and we're going to do another work along, which is where I do a workout and uh, you get to see me do it and I talk about it and stuff. So uh, last one that we did was pretty popular. You guys seem to enjoy it. So this one is kind of the inverse of that. So I, I've got an alternating schedule for my various lifts that I do. So on this one, I'm going to basically do all of the exercises that I did not do in the last workout that I do for my workouts every you know time I do them. So that doesn't sound confusing at all, right? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started just now. I just want to bring up my numbers here and make sure I've got them so I can correctly relay them to you as we're going through. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick look. So first off, we're starting off with deadlift warm-ups. It's just 115 pounds. Uh, just getting warm. Deadlifts are one of my favorite exercises. And uh, I mean, squats, probably more useful overall. But deadlifts are definitely second most useful lift I think you can do. And they obviously chain together very well anyway. So uh, I love deadlifts. I really, really do. And you can see I'm loosening up here as well. I, I Basically, for the beginning part of my workout, it's just relatively lightweight and uh, just lots of dynamic stretches and loosening the joints. So I do three by five of the deadlifts at 115 for my warm-up. And uh, apologies for the cluttered basement. I'm slowly getting it cleaned up. I'm going to turn it into a really nice recording space over time. But right now, the lighting still sucks. Um... Here I have bumped up. I think I missed my last warm-up set. Um, but here I bumped up 250 pounds. I believe, yeah, 250. And uh, you can see the look on my face. It's a little harder. But honestly, I think I could go higher still. Like what I was saying before about squats and deadlifts is that the way that squats work, squats are a little bit more of a total body workout than deadlifts are if you do them right. And uh, my legs have long lagged behind my upper body due to the fact that until relatively recently, we're talking like in the last year, I didn't really have the ability to do proper squats. I didn't have a squat rack of any kind. I didn't really have enough weight, stuff like that. So because of that, I'm making pretty rapid leg gains, although I'm not doing that right now because I'm on a cut. I'm not making gains nearly as fast as I could. I'm still making decent leg gains just because my legs were so far behind my upper body. So because of that, because I'm doing squats twice a week and deadlifts once a week, I'm finding that my deadlifts are accelerating very quickly as well because previously my deadlift max... Oh, that was not a full rep, Dan. Come on, what are you doing? Previously, my deadlift max was limited mostly by my leg strength because I've always had very strong back and upper arms, but you know, having legs lagging behind can really slow your deadlifts down. So by doing squats more often and increasing my rates of my squats... I have noticed a significant improvement in my deadlifts as well. So 250, I look like I'm straining a lot, but honestly, I could probably throw another 15 pounds on there and still be all right. From here, we're moving to overhead press. I have no idea why I make such a funny face on this. This is the warm-up sets. This is not a lot of weight. I think I've got 25 pounds on each hand. Like, not a lot of weight for me. Um, I, I don't know why I'm making that face. Seriously, stop stop making that face, Dan. You're, you're embarrassing me. Stop it. It's not that hard. It's going to be okay, bro. So, again, 3 by 5 for the warm-up set. <laughs> and then uh, you can see I set up the barbell there. I'm going to switch off to that in a second. Did that, did that cooler just appear? Bottom right next to the rack? I, I don't know. Um, so on this one, I actually went up. This is 100 pounds. This is 5 pounds over where I was at the week before. Um, not a big fan about how my left hand is lagging a little bit behind my right hand there. Um... But, I mean, it's concurrent with when I did my last video, you saw I was lagging a bit behind on my bench press on that side as well, which I have started to make up the difference on now. I've made a very conscious effort to make sure that the bar is going up nice and level. Apparently, I need to be doing that for my overhead press as well, though I feel like the camera's a little off kilter too. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I am struggling a bit on my left side, but I do feel like the camera is a little bit off kilter, too. So, I don't know. But something to focus on, obviously. Now, like I said, I was going up in weight on this. I was Last time I did overhead presses, I was at 95 pounds. This is 100 pounds. So, a little bit more strain getting it up and getting all the reps out. But I believe I got all five sets of five in. And uh, 
rocking the Charizard shirt too as well. I'm sure you all appreciate that. That one was really bad. Oh, come on. Um, so the overhead press, the problem is lately I've had a very hard time working out consistently. If you follow my workout log on the Be Game Character forums, you'll notice that. Um, I have not been sticking with my going superhuman plan as well as I would like to, partially just because there's so much real life stuff going on. We're moving on to chips here. The goal for the, the no, sorry, chips, pull-ups. The goal for the pull-ups is three by 12. I think I get 12 on the first set. I think the next set I struggle a bit. I don't think I get anywhere near 12 on the last set. Um, once I can get three by 12 on these, I will obviously be moving up and adding some weight, but you can see now I'm not getting full extension like I should be. You know, I could go, and like I said, I don't think I get all of the reps in that I'm supposed to. But like I was saying, I'm not sticking my li my lifting and workout regimen as well as I would like to, mostly because of real-life stuff that's going on right now. I've mentioned this a bit here and there all over the place. I took last week off, as you know. Um, hopefully, all of that should be coming to a head soon. I did not like that set, apparently. Um, and... <laughs> Hopefully this should be coming to a head soon. I should have a little more time to devote to this. I am doing pretty well on my weight cut. Um, what I'm doing right now is my strategy for my weight cut is I am basically just eating very little. I'm sticking to my macros as I can, but eating very low calories. And because I have a very short amount of time to get there, as I mentioned, I have to get down to 179 pounds, hopefully by November 12th. Today is the 26th, so I've got like a little over two weeks left and I've still got uh, eight pounds to drop. So that's that's still a decent amount of weight. I, I screwed up this last weekend. We had a big party. I drank a lot of beer, ate a lot of food over like two days time and gained two pounds back like that. But I've already dropped it again and we're going back down again. But still, yeah, there it is. I'm, I'm just flunking out. Switching to hammer grip. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Yeah, no. No, good try, though. Yeah, shake your head, make faces. So sad. Too bad, so sad, Dan. Now we're moving on to side lateral raises with the dumbbells. These are at 25 pounds. And I could stand to straighten my arms a little more, but jeez, they look freaking huge in this shot for some reason. Like, my arms look giant. Am I crazy? Like, I mean, not giant, I suppose, in terms of, like, Lots of other lifters you could find on YouTube, but they look big here. They must be real pumped from the pull-ups still. But I don't mind. Good. Fantastic. Look, you got big arms. I like it. Um, so weight cut at least is going pretty well. And ideally, I'm really actually, I mean, it's, it's a struggle right now to knock out all the poundage that I'm trying to knock out. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad I'm just saying, screw it. Let's do it and just cutting down as fast and as hard as I can because I want to be able to continue increasing my lifts, but increasing your lifts while also on a caloric deficit is very, very difficult. I at the very least want to be able to eat at at least maintenance level calories with, you know, super high protein, get them lean gains going. Obviously, once I get down to my target weight, I want to hover around there so that I can cut weight down for judo tournaments relatively easily, but... At least when I get there, I can figure out what my maintenance level is and eat it around that and hopefully just hover within, you know, two or three pounds of 180. And that way I should be able to up the weight a little bit easier and faster on my lifts. So we're finishing off here with the twist crunches. These twist crunches are 15 pounds. I'm doing three by 12. And, uh, oh yeah, I was unhappy with the bench position on this. I forgot to lower the bench on the back side. By lowering the bench on the back side there... Basically, I just increase the abdominal work a little bit more because my lower back and butt are not really resting on anything. I have to basically hover in space for the crunches. So, and I can go down a little, you can say I get a little more horizontal on this so that I can really work the abs a little bit more. I love these twist crunches though, man. They, they work everything so well. I need to start working in, I want to start working in leg lifts and dragon flags a little bit to target my lower abdominal region a little bit better, but still, twist crunches are awesome. Translates so well to judo and martial arts stuff as well. Um, and uh, so hopefully by, let me think, is that two or three episodes from now? Two or three episodes from now, I'll be able to tell you I successfully got down to my weight cut 
and hit the weight that I needed to for the judo tournament, and we'll have footage from that judo tournament, and all things being equal, I'm hoping I will do much better at this judo tournament as well than I did the last one. So we shall see. Obviously, I'm going to film it for you when that time comes, and uh, we'll share it. I actually really liked filming the last one too because watching it has really helped me, you know, work on my strategy with my judo stuff. So, so hopefully that's that's the next step is to get the cut down and to get my real life stuff. This all the real life stuff that's cluttering things up right now. And oh by the way, my wife's car died. The engine died. And my wife went on my wife's car this week as if I needed something more on top of stuff. But um, hopefully that will all see soon, and I will finish with my cut soon. And uh, that's it for the workout. And um, so hopefully that's the next goal is to get down to that 180-pound range so I can cut down for judo tournaments pretty well. Um, that will be accomplishing also one of my going superhuman goals right off the bat, which was getting down to 180 pounds. Uh, I am supposed to be doing a deload week this week, and I was originally going to talk about that, but because I've not been consistent about my workout schedule lately, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to wait until I get like a solid four weeks where I'm on schedule again before I start worrying about doing any kind of a deload because it's not necessary if I haven't been jamming real hard. Um, and I've been doing pretty well on my lifts, but I can't wait until I have the time to do better on my lifts. Uh, other thing, since my wife's car broke down, I've been riding my bicycle to work, which is fun. It's a short ride. It's only like 20 minutes and it's on a mountain bike, not a road bike. So at least I get a little more work in, but oh my goodness, like, I am out of bicycle shape. Like, it's funny the different, like, how, and you can be really good in one activity and not great in another activity. Like, I'm my lifting is getting back on track pretty well. My running is getting back on track pretty well. All of a sudden, I'm riding a bicycle, and my quads are like, what is this? What are we doing? I'm like, yo, I am squatting a lot of weight right now. Riding a bicycle should not be difficult, but nope. No, it's a challenge. This is a good time. I don't have that many hills on the way to work, even. And one of the fun things fun things about riding my bike to work is that I work from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. and it's getting pretty cold at 4 a.m. around here in New Jersey now. It's not that cold in the grand scheme of things, but still it's below freezing. I walk out of work and there's ice everywhere. So riding my bike home and that, also a good time. Really gets the heart rate up though. So so that's where we're at on Going Superhuman. Uh, I wish I had more interesting stuff to show you for this week. I hope you enjoyed the workout at least. And maybe... Maybe, 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 maybe this time next week I can actually fill you in on some of the real life stuff that's been going on. And it won't really be a straight going superhuman week, I guess. I mean, I'll throw some sort of cool stuff in there too. But at least you'll understand. And maybe. This is a maybe. I don't know if stuff's going to be handled by this time next week, but we will see. And then I can talk about it. And then hopefully from then moving forward, we're going to have a lot more awesome stuff going. I just going to have the time and the bandwidth to devote to it. So that's it for this week's episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, remember, live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome. Bye-bye.